Oh, wow. We've got some mozzarella, pork and venison salami, and the pizza sauce. Hi everyone, and welcome to our channel. We are Hannah and Johnny, also known as Finding Our Adventure. In 2020, we converted our Ford Transit to live in full time. Since then, we've been on an endless adventure with our two cats, Tia and Skye, exploring, living and working in our tiny home. Join us each week for a new episode of Finding Our Adventure. Okay, so we have just arrived at Invalonen and we are so excited to show you around here. We've just literally arrived like five minutes ago and uh, the sun is shining and we are just so excited. So Invalonen is basically um, like an off-grid Bothy experience and it's about a 15-20 minute drive from Oban and we are going to be staying here for the night and there is just so much to do. Everything here is completely off grid. So everything is powered by the sun. They have their own water. Uh, you have to heat everything up by fire. And we are just so, so excited. I mean, I've said excited about a million times <laughs> because we're just so happy to be here. So um, yeah, shall we show you around? Okay, the sun is shining, I've put my sunglasses on. <laughs> so there's this outdoor decking area, which Johnny's just walking off. <laughs> and um, basically you get your own Yeti. So it has all of our stuff that needs to go in like a fridge typically, it keeps everything nice and cool. Um, we've got our pizza package in there, which we're gonna have for dinner, which we're really excited to make some pizza later. And you've also got some nice dining chairs, well, dining chairs, outdoor, <laughs> outdoor chairs that you can just lounge on and a nice table as well so I think what we're going to try and do is eat outside as much as possible whilst we're here and um, and also go bare feet <laughs> so yeah we're going to go around this side and I will show you where we shower so all of the water here is basically fed from the farm just down the road and we have a water pump here it's also rainwater that top one which is yeah this is rainwater so it's like basically operated by a pump which you pump and then we can use all of that water for like washing our dishes cleaning all that sort of thing and then there's a drinking water tap just down here which is um, fed from the farm yeah so really cool and this little pilly here so we is for our shower so there is a bag um, which we fill with hot water and we basically pull this up and it has a little shower head and apparently it lasts for five minutes the shower so I'm really excited to try that out out, out in nature this is the pizza oven which we are going to be using later so apparently it takes a while to heat up but once it's heated up it only takes about five minutes to cook the pizza and we've also got a lovely fire pit which I'm sure we'll be having as well in the evening and uh, I mean just look at these views it's just stunning there's a little um, access area there to the lock so um, it's apparently a really good place to enter if you want to do a wild swim okay so you're probably wondering where we will be going to the toilet and I'm going to show you now where we go all right, so this is our toilet. I've not actually looked inside here yet, but it is a composting toilet. Oh, wow. I was imagining like loads of spiders to come crawling out, but this looks luxury. All right, so the, how a composting toilet works is that you must sit down when you're going to the toilet. That includes guys, you have to sit down. And once you um, finish doing your number twos, you have to put some of this sawdust in the top here and just sprinkle it over the top. So that is the toilet.
Okay, so we are staying in the Ushkabothi yeah, in Valonen and we'll show you inside now, but all of the bothies, they're basically a luxury experience compared to what you'd find typically in a bothy. So it's a lot more comfortable and relaxing and um, just really, really nice. So let's show you inside. So as you walk in, we have this lovely wood burner with a kettle at the moment, which is heating up some water because um, everything here is powered basically by fire or solar panels so everything's much slower here it takes its time and um, yeah excited to kind of just take things easy so we also have here this lovely big window overlooking Loch Nell and this lovely comfortable seating area and then we move back here we've got this lovely kitchen with some shelves with all all the things you need and a dining table as well okay and we've just got these ladders <laughs> the ladder that was hiding behind the door because it leads to the bedroom and this is the bed so we're going to be staying here for two nights and we are really looking forward to showing you everything that is on offer if you come and stay here at Invalonen Bothies. So we are going to be showing you everything that you can do and we're just really excited just to take things easy and really slow. So while staying here in Ushka Bothy, everything has been um, supplied for us. So all that you need to bring is yourself and everything else is provided. So we have dinner for tonight, which is pizzas. We've also got food for tomorrow morning for breakfast and some bread um, and everything here in the kitchen is everything we'll need so we've got we've got glasses bowls plates we've got a teapot coffee grinder and you've got your sink with all your washing up bits we've got bread and eggs and we've got our teas porridge and muesli and also um, toiletries so organic toiletries, which is great. And all of like the pots and pans and everything, cutlery, which is brilliant. And the bin's just down there. Another thing that you can do while staying here at the Bothy is they've recently added just, um, autumn just gone, I think they've just added a sauna experience, which you can book. So we are booked in to try out the sauna, which we're really excited. And Dee was telling us that you actually have to find the sauna. So that's going to be an experience. So hopefully we find it, um, but it will all be worth it. And I think that's kind of like the uh, ethos of staying here is that everything takes a little bit longer and you kind of have to work to get things going, but it is so worth it. It just slows you down, uh, makes you so relaxed and um, it's a, a D, I think D mentioned it's called Invalonen time. So hopefully soon our body clocks will be checking into Invalonen time. Johnny's in charge of fire duty. <laughs> so far a success. It's starting to feel nice and warm in here. I think the plan is that we are going to go and show you what else you can do on the lake here or the lock. They have uh, paddle boards and kayaks that you can use um, on the lock. And as it's such a beautiful day, I think we've definitely got to go and try that out. So which one are we doing? Uh, I think I want to do kayaking. So I think we're going to go in the double kayak. Canoe? Is it kayak? Canoe? It's kayak. Kayak. And then maybe tomorrow we'll do paddleboarding because we do really like doing paddleboarding, uh, but we don't get as much time to do kayaking. So we can do it together. We've just made it into the water. It's so peaceful and still here. The water is so calm as well. I feel like whispering because I can't hear anything else other than the sounds of nature and Johnny paddling. <laughs> Not a 
that first run. So the walk down to the kayaks and pedal boards, um, you will pass the other two bothies that you can stay in here. And one of them, I think is the newest one, is the closest to where you can find the kayaks and paddle boards. And uh, we just absolutely loved being on the lake just then. I think we're definitely gonna come back tomorrow and come and do some paddle boarding. So I'm a bit out of breath <laughs> climbing up this hill. But they are all absolutely beautiful, each and each bothy. We just met another couple who are staying in one of the others. We haven't seen where the sauna is yet though. <laughs> yeah, that is true. We haven't found the sauna yet. Um, so that is going to be an adventure. So just getting ready for a shower, setting one up for Hannah and um, underneath the decking here they've got like wood storage and they've also got all like the, um, the shower bag and other bits like chairs and things and stuff they have stored under here. So in this one here we have the shower bag and other bits we need. So this is the shower bag and basically you fill this up with water and then it's got this really nice looking shower head that screws That's onto the massive. bottom. Yeah it's huge. So this all screws onto here, and then the shower bag comes over here. And if you clip it onto this, and then you can hoist it up to the top, and then you can stand underneath and have a nice hot shower. Shower in nature. Just don't drop it on your head. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so we're boiling a kettle on the stove in the in the bothy, and then I'm also boiling an extra pot of water on the um, the outdoor fire. And so hopefully in like five, 10 minutes, all the water will be ready and Hannah can have a nice outdoor shower. nice it feels like so surreal just being out in nature and being able to have like a really hot shower like yeah with this view it's just can't get better can it <laughs> run out. <laughs> I want to have a shower like loads here. <laughs> that makes it so enjoyable. Like yeah I just love it. I love it here. It's so nice. Can't stop smiling. <laughs> now it's time for pizza. Okay, so we've um, we've got all the fires going and we're just about to put our, well, we're gonna put our pizzas together. We've got three sets of doughs, so we can make three pizza. And um, I'm so excited. I love pizza, it's my favorite food. And um, this is gonna be the first time we've ever made yeah, pizza, our own pizza on a um, on a proper pizza oven. So mm. this is gonna be epic. It's the best way to make it, isn't it? Yep. Fresh on the so. fire. So we've got some pork venison salami to go on top. We've got the pizza sauce. We've got some Scottish mozzarella and then some herbs to go on top as well. Mm. Right, let's get to it. So, I've got a spoon for the sauce. <laughs> so, I'm guessing I'm gonna try, this could be a massive fail. <laughs> We're gonna sprinkle this out. Do you think we should sprinkle it on it first? Johnny's taken over. We have the dough. We kind of um, got a wonky shape, but that's okay. We'll, we'll get better <laughs> on the next one. And then I'm guessing we just put the base oh, in yeah. there. So save it because we've got two more to go. Yeah, so, so I'll do one of these on each one. Yeah. Oh, that, oh, that looks really good. 
That's it. Beautiful. I've got our mozzarella. Scottish mozzarella. It tastes so good. Right, chop this up. Right, will you tell us what's on your pizza please? <laughs> We've got some mozzarella, pork and venison salami, and the pizza sauce. It's a bit of a wonky shape. We didn't uh, roll this one out properly. <laughs> so this is our first attempt. Maybe we put cheese a little bit more in the middle. Mm. What? So we're going to go put it in the um, pizza oven now and see what happens. And then we've got two more attempts as well. So Go on then, chef. Let's give it a go. Don't trip. <laughs> we did burn this one a little bit. Oh, let's have a look. But not bad for our first attempt. Oh, look at steaming. Pizza number one. Looks like someone's eaten it. <laughs> we need to do the herbs. We've got some basil. <laughs> After having the most relaxing evening, just chilling by the fire, um, we are now just going to have some nice hot drinks before we go to bed. Um, it's a completely clear sky tonight so you can see stars and um, yeah it's just so peaceful now that the sun's gone down um, and it's very very quiet. <laughs> so yeah really enjoying this experience here at Inverlone and, and excited to show you around tomorrow. Good morning everybody. So we have just had showers and we're making, just made breakfast and we're really excited to get out on the water again and explore. just made it back to the bothy and we are going to be making some lunch now so we actually we were given some um, sausages and bacon for breakfast but we had porridge and cereal instead so we're gonna have that for lunch now and we've got some bread to go with it so we're getting the fire going and we're gonna cook it outside as the weather is just incredible <laughs> Alright, uh, lunch is all cooked. <laughs> we're really hungry, so we're going to tuck in. Alright, so after our delicious lunch, we are now on a mission to find the sauna. So it's a horse box um, somewhere along this path, and we've got our massive Yeti water bottle, which we filled with water. We've got our sauna towels, and we've been given instructions on what we need to do. Uh, when we get there so we will show you when we get there we've made it to the first checkpoint which is where they keep the paddle boards and kayaks so just a little bit further and we should 
find the sauna. from the lock. Ready for the sauna. <laughs> Let's go in. We're all finished up in the sauna. Our time is up, unfortunately. Um, so we're just putting it away, ready for the next person to come and use it. But it's been so nice. We've just been going in the sauna, into the lock, into the sauna, into the lock. And oh, it's just been amazing. We've gone the, for the full experience and I would definitely recommend it if you're coming and staying at Inverlone and to book out the sauna. So we are just about to start cooking dinner. We've got the fire going and we've got our pots of water starting to, well, we've boiled some of the water already on the other fire. But this is what we've got. So we're just waiting for the wood to burn down a bit. So we've got some embers to cook on and the king of fire has been doing a great job. <laughs> but yeah, so this is our last night here. Yeah, we don't want to leave. <laughs> it's been such a lovely day. We've been on the paddle boards, we've been in the sauna, we've been on some walks around here, and um, yeah, we've got to leave tomorrow. So we are very sad, but we have got lots of nice memories here, and we're just lapping it all up these last few moments here at Inverlonen. Dinner is ready. We've got some broccoli, and we've got meatballs and spaghetti. So we've got the fire going and we've also got some hot chocolates and some tiffin bar and we're just gonna relax here and hopefully watch the stars when they come out because it's a completely clear night tonight um, but we've had the most incredible time here um, at Inverlonen. It's been so peaceful um, and we've really felt like we've been able to connect with nature here. It's just been an incredible experience. So yeah, just gonna watch the fire slowly burn out and then do some stargazing. So good night guys and we'll see you in the morning. Good morning everybody, it's our last morning in the Bothy and it's another beautiful sunrise. We've been so lucky with the weather since we've been here and it's so calm and so peaceful. We can hear a woodpecker across the lock and all the birds are singing and they also seem really happy because the sun's out as we are. And um, yeah, Hannah's having a shower outside and I think I'm going to have one after her and then we're going to check out by 10.30 and get back up to the van 
then head off to a new location. So yeah, we're really sad to leave this place, but we've had such an amazing time. We've really slowed down and just relaxed and just enjoyed our time in nature. How was your shower this morning? Oh, so good. So peaceful watching the sunrise, like literally just there. And um, it was so misty this morning and the colors were beautiful. So I was up early taking lots of nice pictures. But, yeah, heaven. We've both had showers and we're just spending the last few minutes of our time in the Bothy just watching the fire and just enjoying a nice morning light. And so I think we're going to leave this episode here. Don't forget to like and comment and subscribe because it supports the channel as always. And thanks for watching. Yep, and we'll see you guys in the next one.